All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on episode number 23 for today. In the last episode, we were one game away from Grand Champ in 2v2, but we never got a twos game. So we should hopefully get it in this episode. Uh, but in standard, we are now at champion one division three. So getting closer to champ two, but still pretty far away from our 2v2 rank. Now for the meme of the day, I don't think this was a suggestion, but I think this was just the reaction to Leth Rogan, but I was inspired. And here it is. You have to see this thing too. Let's see if we can get Grand Champ today. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, for the first game, we got a twos game. So hopefully this is our Grand Champ game. We have a season 12 Grand Champion and season five Grand Champion. So people are around that rank in this lobby. If I get the demo. Now my teammates forwards. I'm just gonna hit this down off the ground. Now both players do go, but I'm on this ball here in mid. I have a shot chance here. Just gonna shoot it towards target. And there we go. Okay, my teammate's already getting quite toxic. Now, I only had 12 boosts there, but both players committed on that jump, so I knew I was safe in that corner to go for the shot. Just trying to get a shot on target under the bar. Now, I'm spacing this ball. Stay controlled here. Go for a 50. Now, Jester or Jester got the uh, 100 boost in the corner. So, I know that he has boost to go for that challenge. My teammate's zero here, but he should be able to get at least a shot on target. I'm going to let him do that. And now we have uh, maybe decent possession here. Let's stay close to the ball here. Good 50. A little bit scary. Well, let's see if I can fake this. Nice demo. I like that turn too. It's not going to get boost. Good try. It's fine if Tarzan wants to take it. I'll wait behind him. Get this up. Jester's going to take this though. Best thing to do there is probably control the ball. My teammate should have this no problem. Good try. Might be a shot opportunity. Be okay. Once again, Tarzan's going for it, but I see him in front of me, so I'm just waiting for him. I'm trying to control. I'll go for a shot. Good demo. A little off on the side, but still a good chance here. Maybe a save. I have this ball for free. I'll pop it up first, see what the scrub does. Off off the backboard a little bit. And then Tarzan has it. Don't know why this guy is spamming what a save. Both have been pretty good opportunities. Good turn from Tarzan. I didn't see that he was going to go for that, so I should have just backed off. Maybe they had... Is there beef I don't know about? <laughs> I'm going to go for this here. I definitely beat this guy. Am I helping this Tarzan guy settle beef? I don't know. Okay. Decent touch from Jester. Kind of let's go possession though. So hit this off the backboard. See if Scrub can get it. Now it's in mid. There it is. Is there beef? I'm unaware of. Let's see what they say. What happened? Oh. Okay, so I don't know if this guy's just being toxic back to this guy after he was toxic to him. I have no idea. It's a good challenge. I should be able to take this back corner and then go back on this ball. That's going to be Tarzan. It's around him. This guy's playing really well. Yeah, Scrub turned a little bit too heavy there and ended up just putting himself out of position because Tarzan has full boost there and Scrub was pretty low. <laughs> He's a teammate blaming Punk. I see. The classic, where was this? So I talked about this a lot. If you are a teammate who is making it difficult for the opponent or for your teammate to read, um, it's going to be hard to play around that. I'm not necessarily saying that it was Scrub's fault in those games. You never know. I wasn't there. But at the same time, if you are positioning or hitting the ball in a weird, in a weird way, it's going to be hard to react to what your teammate is doing and then make it very uncomfortable for... Uh, for the opponent and uh, the players. Good demo from Jester. Yeah, honestly, Tarzan's playing really well. He's playing good control. I'm trying to stall here for my teammate to get behind me. That's an awkward ball here. Could be a shot. It's a good shot. So in that position, I didn't make the best 50-50 here. Um, I think Tarzan should have probably been backward though, playing pretty slow on the ground. Um, seeing me under the ball like that, like I have all of the challenges available to me. Um, so if he goes backward there and gets ready for some sort of play. Yeah, that's the thing. So that's what I was talking about. Like being in a good position for your team 
is, is a huge thing. And just rushing the ball constantly is um is always going to cause problems. I'll let Jester go for this. Should be able to beat him and hit up the, hit up the corner. Hey, yeah, words. Hit this out the corner. It's a good save. I don't know what I just said. I'm here, though. It okay, should be clear from scrub, but that's a, a ball that's free for me now. I'm just going to stay close to this. He misses. Try and get down to the ground and bump this guy, maybe. Good demo. Let's see what scrub does here. There we go. Big fakes. Pop it in middle. Jester's going to have this for free, though. I'm trying to get in the way of him. That's all I want to do. Just see that the play is happening and then just back off. Once again, just waiting for the ball to come to me. They're just giving the ball for free. Pop it up. And now I have a free ball here. Good challenge. Hopefully Tarzan can be on it, though. I'll go back. It's a pop over the back backboard. Let him go for it. There we go. You see the patience just pays off. We get a 1v1 opportunity. Oh, okay. I did, definitely had control of that ball. I could have definitely been the one to make the 50-50. I was playing the angles because I want to make sure that Tarzan's ready to play the mid. But he decided to cut for me, which is can be fine, but he just didn't make a good challenge. I see the guy challenging early, so I'm hit this on the backboard and then boost down to the ground to get this boost. Try and bump scrub, so now it's a free ball for Tarzan. I try the follow up. I hit this softly off the, the corner, so it just bounced up the wall. Stay close to the ball. Keep it to the side. See if Tarzan can go for it. Good try. Keep a follow up here. There we go. That should pr basically kill all the time in the game. It's going to take like five, five or so seconds to get down the field. I would say if you want to keep an internal timing, like if it if the ball is rolling up the backboard, it's going to take at least five to six seconds to get the ball to the other side of the field, especially if the players aren't in a good position. But either way, I think my teammate played pretty well. Good positioning all around. A couple times where he cut me off in spots where maybe he could have left it for me, but yeah, I don't know what this guy's saying. Conversion. Yeah, I agree. 100%. Surprisingly, we didn't get champ... Uh, from champ three to, to grand champ one, but the next two v two game should definitely get us there. And we did get another twos game. We've got Bapo on our team with two people who are together, Laserick and To Love Rue. Let's see, or To Love Rue? I don't know. I have space on this ball here. Laserick isn't challenging, so I know I have time to make a touch. And now I can pop it over with a little flick. Good try by my teammate. I'm last man here. It's a good follow up, good double, but now I have space on the ball. See if Babo can get to there. I don't think he's going to reach it. That's actually a little scary. I shouldn't have went for that because uh, when my teammate missed, um, there was a lot of time where they could have caught the ball and just completely throw me off the play. I have space here again. I'm going to fake this and then take it right down. My teammate can go for it. Nice shot. It wasn't completely intentional that I made the pop here the way that I did, but this pop is really hard to do. Um, if you can get the timing like that, it's a really good way to like stay grounded and not really have to like flip and get out of the play. And then also still make a good touch that gives space for your teammate. Now what I should have done there is bump that guy, but I think it's a little too aggressive for champ three. Okay, this guy's not going. I'm going to go now and try and challenge. Teammate's a little bit late, but it does make a decent 50-50. Get this down the field, see if my teammate can follow it. It's a bit high, but oh, what a touch. A little scary for me to go for this. I do get a heavy 50, though, so I can stay to the, uh, the defensive side. See my teammate wants to challenge. He left the ball for a laser, though, which now he's full boost. I'm going to fake because Bapo's up. Now, what I want to do is keep this to the side and keep it controlled. Give my teammate time to get that corner boost. This guy's probably going to challenge right away, so I know that already. And the reason why I know that is because my teammate just took the corner boost. So this guy's going to panic and probably go for the challenge. A good thing there, too, is to bump that guy, but also not demo him. Okay, so Laser hits the ball really hard off the wall. He might follow this. He's up. Bapo has full boost, so I can get this back corner, no problem. This guy might challenge. Totally fine. Now, the reason why that was awkward for me is because the touch from Bapo wasn't really in a good spot for me to be able to follow it. I'm bumped here. Oh, what a shot. 
Oh. Nice. It was a great pass. <laughs> he definitely probably could have scored that, but he missed the uh, the read. But nice redirect from him right there. I'm going to cheat up a little bit. So I see that he's going to beat me to that mid boost. Actually, he decides to go on the ball instead. I wouldn't say that's a great option um, because now he's low boosts. And now he, he can't be on this ball. Okay, now he can because my teammate made a, a pretty rough touch. But I'm going to grab this boost because the ball is bouncing in a spot that's kind of awkward. Pop it over him a little bit. I'm always reacting to whatever the players are doing. Good try. Now he's not fully controlling this ball, so I can make a pop around him. My teammate sounds like he's close, so I'm going to be a little bit careful. He's going to get beat here, which is totally fine. I want to cut this off. So the ball is soft in the, the corner. I'm not challenging this ball. I'm just going towards him to make him have to clear the ball forward. Now let's get behind my teammate here. That's a really hard flick. Should be a good shot opportunity. That's a great play from them. I'm, let them, I'm not going to say I'm not going to let them score it. Like that was definitely an awkward opportunity for us to save that. But I definitely could have jumped there. But that's like really, really, really good play from them. It's unfortunate that it bounces like that. I definitely could have just jumped up and cleared it. Um, but that was a great play from them to make a passing play. I'm going to say no problem. He's saying my fault. But I definitely could have uh, played that a little better too. But honestly, this is a great flick from them. Let's see what to love Rue does here. Pops it up high. But that should give me time to catch the ball off the backboard. Now I want to catch that with the underside of my car. Or like underneath the ball so it pops up under me. See if Bopo can get to this. That's a great touch from them. A little bit careful with this touch. Try to make sure it softly touches into the ramp around him pop it up it's not on target I don't think I can get around it so what I'm gonna do here is just play the ball up off the backboard and make it really awkward for them I wouldn't even necessarily say my teammate needs to go on this but as long as he can get the boost there we should be secure on our position looks like laser might go on this but he's giving the ball away now I'm staying close to the ball popping it up laser backwards so I'm just gonna make him panic there we go try and bump him if he turns on this ball that way Bapo has a free ball Big miss from the opponents. Would have liked to have that ball for free, but looks like he might be able to finish it. Wow, what a finish. Nice shot. A little bit too patient by uh, Laser here. Got the boost. Definitely should be jumping out to that ball right there, not giving them an opportunity to shoot that ball. He had full boost, and he had full uh, momentum across the wall. He could have challenged that confidently. Get a good challenge. Get the boost. I'm trying to look for bumps or something. Also, Bobo might have another touch here. I'm just going to wait for him. Okay, they cleared down the field. Once again, I have possession. I'll pop it over him with that touch. I'm trying to stay close to the ball. Let's see my turn again. I'm going to get a heavy 50. That should hopefully give us a good chance. Oh, yeah. So I'm always playing the 50s to try and direct it towards my teammate or away from the opponents. You can see that that goes to space to my teammate. Immediately, he gets a, a good opportunity. And to love Rue kind of panics off the backboard. Same here. I'm just trying to like get a position where I can eat the ball away from the opponents. We have space here. I see there's nobody on the ball yet. I'm gonna wait for them to make some sort of push. Now I can get a challenge. See, how, like I'm I'm making them awkward with the touches that I'm going for, making them awkward with the positioning and the timing of my touches to make them uncomfortable. It's always really difficult at the highest level in high level SSL um, to get the ball off of players nowadays because they're very good at forcing you off the ball. So the most of the time. Right, not right now, it's not necessary. But like later on in the higher ranks, if you're if you're on the cusp of getting to SSL, of getting to high GC, you're gonna have to play a one-two switcheroo sort of thing, where you have one player making a challenge just to get the ball off the player. You're never actually gonna get possession as the first player unless you su really surprise the opponent. Um. Um. Thanks. Um. My name is Lethemir. Uh. Nice to meet you. Um. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. That is awesome. That's that's what I live for. I don't know if that man was uh maybe uh, projecting a little bit, but I don't remember seeing any mechanics from that guy. <laughs> not a, not a single thing. Also, did we not get the uh, GC rank up? I don't think we did. That's like huge boom from them. Hopefully my teammate can get there. It's probably gonna be a miss though. Now I can turn the corner here. Try to get it clear. Good positioning from Dr. Combat. I like that. 
Um, before I was really interrupted though, yeah, like most players nowadays, you're gonna have to like really play um, like a bait and switch sort of thing to get players off the ball. Wait for this guy to make a challenge, just miss though. It's fine if this guy hits it because I'm actually flipping forward with the ball. See what teammate wants to go for it. Got a good opportunity. A 50 there would have been better than driving into the ball though. Good 50. I can follow this up. Hit this forward over that player. Definitely beating him on that challenge. Shot towards target. Now we are in champ one. So this is definitely lower level than the 2v2 games. We have space on this ball. That's a really good play from them. But you can see ultimate fire star stars in a good position to stay behind the ball. Good 50. Princess is going to have a clear. We got the backboard here and try to get a, a backboard clear. If you don't, if you aren't good at those, definitely play some defensive training packs or uh, play like more shot packs so you can go for those backboard reads. Be a little bit careful with his touches here. Just reversing into it. Got 40 boost. Don't need to really get too much more here. We're pretty comfortable here. Oh, big miss. That's fine. Unreliable makes a touch, but now there's space on this ball off the side here. It's a full defensive setup, so I'm trying to like keep this ball away from them. But they do get it. I got the boost though. Try this off the wall really hard, see if they can follow it. Mm, decent try. Definitely should have been a shot opportunity there. Good challenge though. We got full boost. Waiting for unreliable. It's a great de double demo from Princess, but great stall by ultimate. I like that. This should be my teammate to leave it for me. Big clear. See if ultimate can go for this. I'm really liking ultimate's positioning. I'm going to try and steal this boost here because both orange players are in the corner. Try and bump him. Good touch should be ultimate. Sometimes he is a little bit far, like too far away from the play, but I do like that he's being patient. Trying to get a good read on the play. Get this off the corner. It's probably a little high though. Great patience. So I'm noticing that ultimate likes to play that th deep third man. So I'm trying to fill a little bit more of an aggressive role with the team. I'm going to go for this. Just like try to get in the way. Maybe bump this guy too. Great turn from Dr. Combat. Should be a shot opportunity. Wow. That's a great shot. I thought he was going to leave it for um, for ultimate. But he got a really good angle. And that'll open up from that demo. Just going for like some sort of aggressive play once I went for the ball. And you can see that I didn't even make a good contact with the ball. Just went for the position. Just trying to be a presence on the ball. And then just made use of my my space on the field to disrupt the opponents as they're coming up for offense. It's a great shot off the backboard. This guy's definitely going to miss. Try and go for a shot. Go off the backboard. If ultimate get in there, get involved. Look at the rotations we're getting. It was very, very clean. Not to wait here. I'm last man. I'm gonna try and leave that boost for him. Ends up going over it though. But I still don't need that much boost. Like I have 82. Should be ultimate here. I'm behind him. Look at these rotations. This is actually like some of the best 3v3 rotations we've seen in the series. I am last man, so I'm just gonna wait patiently. Good turn from Doctor Combat. Good. Decent touch. It's going to be awkward for them. See if Dr. Combat can, can keep it in. He does. We can follow it. Waiting a mid. It pops off the backboard. Should be ultimate to come in. Good try. I have space on this ball. Oh, really good bump. I'll get behind Dr. Combat now because he's on the ball. And I'll get the back right corner. I don't know if he wants to... It looks like he wants me to go, so I'm going to challenge for him. Hit this off the side. I don't want to wait for that ball because someone's trying to cut me off there. So I'm just trying to make sure I hit that around the opponents. So they might have it. I'm not sure. I can't really tell, like, visually. It's a good try on the demo. But you can see, I don't really want to all in on that because in that position, like, um, I'm in a bad spot if I go at, like, at that at a bad 50. So instead, I'm just going to wait for it. And to be honest, I probably could have went for that. The reason why I want to go for that, though, is that them jumping makes it really hard for them to control the ball. Really good touch. I'm not going to go for the demo because I am last man still. It would be a very aggressive choice for me. If we were maybe like at the last few seconds and we're down a goal, then yes, I would try to do that. But it's all about context. Should be Dr. Combat to come in here. It's going to roll out. Ultimate's up. Good try. It's gonna, the ball's going to roll out to me. Going to get 50 up the wall. Dr. Combat should be able to jump for this, but it could be dangerous if it goes over him. Give that a shot. Oh my god, they almost redirected that. What a save.
Great game. Great 3v3 game. I don't think we got uh, GC1, though, in twos. So I'm hoping we find a final 2v2 game to get that rank up. Let's check. Yeah, we're. In, I don't think we are. Let's see. Yep, still champ three. All right, we did get twos. We got Wonder Toast on our team and uh, and two other players on that team. <laughs> Interesting name. I'm gonna stay with this ball here, pop out the corner. See if Wonder Toast can get there. Looks like he's, uh, Fargo's gonna have a clear though. Good try. Try and get on this ball. Get off the backboard, see what Lucho does. Actually, I don't know if that's a, that's not a bad word, right? I don't think it is. Let's stay close on this ball, ball here. Just trying to fake him a little bit. Good try. Now I'm gonna see what Fargo does here. He's gonna try and challenge me right here. I'm gonna let him touch that ball to my teammate. Really good positioning. It's a big clear, but should be, should be my teammate. We're getting a lot of pressure here just from them making touches back to us. I've also talked talked about that a lot in the series where having the opponent touch the ball back to you is actually advantageous. So making these awkward touches where they have to follow it up and make the touch forward is gonna make it really hard for them to deal with more defense as we go through the layers of offense. Um, it's it's something that Jack does a lot, more so than most players. Oh, big miss. Let's see if he wants to go for this. It's a decent decent touch. He can definitely touch that like in a spot where it goes like back to, to me in mid, but it's totally fine. I have control in the corner here. Fargo's turning, it looks like, so I'm just gonna pop it up, see what he does with this. I'm gonna challenge him here. Get a demo. Should be one or toast to the corner. I like that control. Really good touch. I'm going to try and follow this. Fargo, I thought, maybe spawn left side. It's not the greatest touch for me. Um, because I thought he spawned left and was going to challenge immediately. Most players in SSL, they do immediately rush that. I'll pop this up middle, see if he follows it. Nice touch. Fargo will definitely have control in the corner. Now, when we're getting into our rank up game for GC, this is where people are going to be much more control with the ball. See if he goes for the, the play here. Let's go with possession, though. Now I have the ball for free. Let's see if Fargo makes a bump or something. Uh-oh. It's going to be bad. Oh, yeah. So Wonder Toast was way too close to me. I was trying to give that to space. And he didn't get out of my way once I hit the ball forward, too. Like, once he sees me, like, right there, he doesn't turn out of the way. And then he makes the ball really awkward. There was so much space on the right side. He doesn't need to be close to that ball. I've got control. Let's see what he does here, though. Big miss. Wonder Toast goes back. Let Fargo go for the touch here. Hoping he can make a challenge of some sort. That's totally fine. So Wonder Toast is stuck with zero boost because he's deciding not to go for boost. When he probably could have. There was lots of time for him to get it. Definitely playing pretty this is probably the like slowest two's teammate I've had in a while. Meanwhile, the opponents are moving very, very fast. Go for a challenge. Hopefully Wonder Toast can get on this. I shouldn't really go for this. I'm actually gonna fake the ball because it's actually worse. For me to touch the ball there. Oh boy. <laughs> a little bump on my teammate. Doesn't hurt. Good control. I like this. So this player definitely seems very grounded. Good flick. Go for a shot. Oh wow, that's in. I was, looked like it was going to be off the backboard, but good angle there. Um, Fargo definitely seems like the fastest player in the lobby. Well, besides me, if I do play faster. I'm playing a little reserve though. I'm trying to play to my teammate's strengths. It seems like he's a very, very grounded player. He's made a couple aerials, but they weren't very controlled, so I gotta be a little bit careful with what he does with the ball in the air. Good double demo here. This should be open. So I do leave these little pops to get it over Fargo in the corner there. The double demo gives us a really good opportunity. Not the best touch from Fargo. You see the pop really makes it awkward for him. And we're, like I said, for the rank up game, we're gonna have to be really controlled with the ball. Be really patient. This ball goes to the backboard here. Looks like he's rushing it, though. Decent touch from Wonder Toast. Should be able to stay with this. Right there, you could let the ball bounce. And that would have put us in a good good position to make a shot on target. Looks like he's got to pop up the backboard. I'm going to try and go wide here. You see how I rotate wide instead of trying to rush the ball up the wall? That's a giveaway possession. Let's see if Fargo makes a play down the field. Good follow-up. Decent touch. I have space on the ball now. See, I can make a soft touch here and try to uh, force someone in. They do make a good challenge, but my teammate's ready for it off the backboard. And now I'm just trying to rotate in mid. See what happens with Fargo's touch here. He's going to have a touch. That's a great shot. Fall off the backboard. It's going to have to be my teammate off the ground here. Nice. I'm playing out any backboard reads. 
a decent uh, follow up, but this is going to be like a, a dead ball now. It's a little bit scary for me because um, like that dead ball, he definitely should have backed off immediately once he notices that the ball is heading towards the opponents. Decent try. Um, but yeah, he ends up trying to follow it anyway, even though the ball is faster than supersonic. Like, There's no way that the car can catch up to that ball once he hits it that hard. The thing about the ball is it can move faster than cars. So you got to be a little really, really careful with when you're trying to chase down a ball. And you got to remember, too, that when a ball is heading towards an opponent, the space is half the distance because the ball is closing distance towards the opponents versus you're trying to catch up to a ball moving away from you. So distance reading is very, very difficult when the ball is moving away from you. A good catch from Fargo to read that his teammate was missing, and he cuts off that position. Let's see if Wondertoast can go for a shot. It's off backboard. Looks like Elucho has the ball, though. I'm trying to make a touch to the side. Good follow from Fargo. Should be Wonder Toast though. It's pretty dangerous. Great follow up. Good finish for my teammate to get it to the safety on the side there. And we just get a clear on the field. It should be a finish. So pretty close game. Fargo played really well. I think that he uh, definitely was the fastest player out of the three. Um, and uh, no one really played horribly in that game. Everyone was in decent position. Good control. Um, my teammate was definitely a little bit more grounded than I was used to. But that's going to be my rank up game to GC1. Everybody in this lobby was GC1. So that's usually the case. When you're trying to rank up, you're going to find that you play against players who are in that rank. So you really need to show up and really need to uh, secure that W. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Definitely an interesting one. I don't know why that guy was so toxic in that one game. I don't know why <laughs> uh, the guy was spamming what a save, even though he said that the other guy was being toxic. I don't know what to believe at this point. People seem to get pretty mad at everybody <laughs> in this game. But until next time, have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Okay, somehow I have to get this face onto this face. So let's see if we can do it. I'm going to grab my head real quick. Let's try to uh, match up the size. Oh my God, what is that? <laughs> uh, let's just go with like that size, sort of. It would seem that like my facial structure is quite different than Sunless, but that's okay. Maybe I can go a little smaller, something, something like that. I'm going to erase, I think most, I'm gonna make a copy just in case I get, I get lost. There we go. Uh, let's hide that one. I'm going to erase softly. Let's let's bring back the opacity real quick and take a look at how this is. Yeah, this is terrible. Okay. This is horrible. This is horrible. Let's grab the glasses real quick. Okay. There we go. Let's put that on top of my face. What is this, dude? I look like a chipmunk. What is that? Okay. Let's get in here and be a little more precise. I... Don't like how this looks. Very nice. Let's clean up my ears as well. Let's get in here and clean up this eye. <laughs> oh gosh. I think we need some adjustments on where the glasses go on, on the head for me. Let's do something like that. Let's bring this up. Maybe I should just like erase more of my head. I don't know. I, I need something, something to fix this. Maybe what will help too is if I color match the lighting. <laughs> uh there's there's some double glasses going on here i need to fix that a little bit um <laughs> sure oh there it is there's sunlith con uh i don't want to talk about it